hi guys welcome back uh, today we are going to see the one or two days detailed usage review for the open beta 9 so actually just one and a half day anyway uh, right here is the one plus three t and the one plus three so i just made in a shape of uh, this one so make sure to watch the unboxing the first impression is not nothing new because already everything is same but i just shown you something else like benchmarking with the same 3.503 and with the open beta 9 so one plus is still very great it's not that too slow that people are thinking so personally if you ask with me there is no need to go with the one plus three t wait for one plus four or one plus five whatever comes first just five month left uh, by the May in or uh, you'll see the new device so if you don't have any OnePlus 3 then you should go for 3T otherwise if you have OnePlus 3 you should not be go going with the 3T but if you have neither of any device if you want to go any one then pick OnePlus 3T alright so I will be doing all things here like comparing just I was just thought to just finish this video then I will go with this camera comparison I was just waiting for somewhere near to 10 11 night so anyway guys just let's get started so uh, I've just uh, I've written complete stuff of question that I have here so we'll be taking here some of the most common question that are more important to know so and uh, first I will start with the battery because that is the most important question so guys unfortunately I, I got some issues here I did not have very great battery backup but still so this time I played lot of games and if I go inside my battery still just 20% is left and I got this time near to 3 hours and on my first charge I got near to 4 hours uh, even less than that and something surprisingly happened there and uh, my device was 13% uh, so if you're on my subscriber you uh, following my one plus three videos so you might have seen I used to share your screenshot when I was just near to one or two percentage so I remember I kept my phone when it was 13 percentage when I came back after half an hour it suddenly got discharged everything uh, phone was completely turned off and even after that I did notice some very good thing here so as you can see here when you just try to you know uh, turn on your phone when it is completely dead so you are getting some uh, warning here like battery is too low in different different kind of languages so that is very new and interesting I did not uh, felt found anything else so I don't know why what is the sense of that but it looks pretty cool so anyway guys so this is about the battery so still you are not going to get a good battery backup so you can see uh, I am on very less screen brightness I always, always keep you know 20-25% because this uh, brightness is very great even plus 3 so I do not use much compared to my pixel which I always used to keep in 40 percentage so it's still uh, less than 4 hour and this is about the battery now I will especially talk about the performance especially in terms of app crashing since the beta 9 especially is based on a lot of optimization so we have already seen on the first impression there are uh, 7 changes and 6 were just mentioned as the optimization so I frankly did not find any app crashes all apps including system wide built in applications are working pretty much fine so there is no as such issues so in terms of performance it's really great and smooth so and also next question we got and uh, how did I enable this second here so that was by default is here if you just go to the status bar this is status bar so in the stock and write it is there in the system UI tuner but you can get here it is outside so you go to the time section and if you just click here just select first one show hours minute and time you will good to go and you will see this time here all right now we'll see the next question routing so uh, as a lot of people are trying to root this running beta 9 so everything is working pretty much same already I have uploaded a video in which when it was running uh, beta 8 I have shown you how to root I guess it was beta 8 or 7 I am not sure sorry for that so make sure to check that video uh, the 12 version is the 3.02 iPhone 19 is still working let me show you here this is the root checker basic already I have rooted and it is on beta 9 so it's working great and here is the build number just in case who is the new person wanted to see so this is uh, op302 beta 9 right so routing is working and you have to use 12 person sr5 2.78 otherwise you will get this similar network error some people are there who are not able to get this network when they root and because they are stalling the old the 2.78 so you need to use sr5 not the sr1 then you are able to do and talking about the office release date so according to the company it should come uh, via december end, but uh, there is no sign so hopefully uh, maybe by next year first week jan we should get some because uh, as of now everything is work optimized except the battery so maybe the next upcoming will will bring some battery improvements so we need to wait for that otherwise it's fine and this one question here touch latency yeah there is touch latency here but according to company company is focusing more on android nougat updates so and uh, they according to that uh, when it will come to android 7.1 
then the touch latency should be fixed but uh, i doubt it will come very soon until it's really it's really very serious but uh, i i don't think so it's very serious but uh, if you personally ask with me whether i am facing touch latency yeah i am facing mostly if you just restart your phone you might see on the first time when you enter your passcode so you will see you type password and it's not taking immediately so that is a problem it won't take so personally i found one issue like in terms of memory management see uh, i use this phone to play lot of xfall stream because you can see uh, watch lot of my old videos so xfall stream is working very fast here it restarts very quickly so when i uh, use this uh, xfall stream it was in the memory say i played in the night somewhere around 12 when i woke up in the morning and again eight to nine i played so game was there in the memory so not a problem but it's small applications like youtube and youtube creator studio in which i used to reply to you guys so uh, this app sometimes get restarted i found this many times it happens and some issues with like twitter also re refreshes most of the time so small apps uh, i'm not sure why it is happening but the bigger games are in the memory as usual so these are all the all the stuffs and yeah uh, one issues i did mention here a uh, lot of people are getting adb error like uh, devices not connected or uh, cannot read the file so that is happening due to the driver error so how to fix that there's a detailed step actually i'm working on not getting time i need to write a lot of blog posts so as you can see in this image you need to go to the my computer then go to the device manager or you can go via devices and printer in the control panel then see the devices and you need to check for updated this uh, driver and make sure it is selected as adb uh, google devices not with some uh, K or Lee Mobile something, Capacom something like that or it should not be any MTP devices otherwise uh, it will show you as ADB devices when you go to the bootloader it will not show you the device exactly that when you try to an ADB side load you will get this error so make sure to have this ADB Google interface USB Compose interface uh, something related with ADB interface then you will be able to see that so maybe when I get time maybe in this week uh, I will just post a new write a new post to my website so you can read there so there you have it guys uh, DTLX usage review for this open beta 9 and uh, finally if you want to update that you can easily go and update that 4 hours of screen on time uh, it's not too bad you have the dash charging you can quickly charge and top up how to update it already I have shown you using the ADB side load if you have 12 then use the 12 version 3.0.2-19 and uh, root with the SR5 2.78 or you can use ADB side load already I have shown you couple of videos so I will put as much video link in the description so make sure to use it and that's it guys hope you guys enjoyed this video enjoy the android nougat on one plus three this is sarah i'll catch you next video have a great day